Hello and welcome to Beginning Engineers. Today I'm going to be talking about value stream mapping, a bird's eye view. What is value stream mapping? Value stream mapping is a lean management tool. It's similar to a flowchart that analyzes an entire value chain. So it's not just focused on the manufacturing process. It focuses on things like shipping, both receiving from the supplier and shipping to the customer. It's part of the Six Sigma methodology. It puts a strong emphasis on separating value added items from non value added items. Value added items are typically called processes, and non value added items are called operations, at least in terms of the value stream map. So, why are value stream maps so useful? Why not just do a value added versus non value added analysis on a single process? Well, sometimes it's good to focus on the highest level, to have a broad picture. So instead of focusing on a single operation, value stream maps let you identify waste from supplier shipping all the way to delivery of the finished product. It's a very high level management tool that gives you an area to focus on and then you can get more specific later. It also helps with planning. So it helps you identify where the focus future Kaizen, which are improvement projects, with a big picture focus. Maybe a lot of your issues come from shipping. So improving your manufacturing is not gonna have that big an effect. Focus on the shipping. Value stream maps typically start with a current state process. So you map out everything as it is currently. And that's good for communicating to everyone. Here's how we operate now. Then you have an ideal. So in a perfect world, how could this company operate? Then you do all your Kaizen events and you have an after value stream map that shows how much more improved and simplified your pathway is from supplier to customer. And again, because this is part of the lean methodology and Six Sigma methodology, value stream maps help reduce waste, which is known as MUDA in Japanese. And reducing waste is a huge part of lean management. Before you make your value stream map, you have to ask a few questions. Where do materials flow? How do they flow there? Truck, plane, boat, what's the carrier that transports them? Where do designs flow? How are designs stored? How do customer tickets flow? Where are they stored? If you're creating this value stream map because you've had a lot of customer complaints recently, what is the customer being let down on? Are they upset about price? Are you not meeting their expectations on delivery time or product reliability? Once you have the answers to a few of these questions, you can begin to make your value stream map. What does a value stream map actually look like? Let's go over some of the symbols now. It's important to note that there is technically no standardization for these symbols, but you see a lot of the same ones used all around the world. So here's some process symbols. Customer or supplier is the first symbol on the top left. You've got a dedicated process. You have a shared process. You have a data box that gives you data about a process or perhaps a product. Then on the bottom there, you have an image that represents a work cell, a physical work cell. There are material symbols. First, we have customer or supplier inventory. We have the flow of shipments. You have a push arrow for item movement within the facility. You have a supermarket for items you need for manufacturing. Material pool for when material is needed. FIFO lanes for when things that come in first need to go out first. Safety stock. And of course, external shipment. Moving on to information symbols. We have production control, manual information, electronic information, Production Kanban, Withdrawal Kanban, Signal Kanban. I won't go into the rest. You can see them there on the slide. I'm not as familiar with information symbols, so I can't really explain too many of those. Some important ones to note, I really think, out of the general symbols, you have the Kanban burst. That's a pretty typical symbol for presentations and such. When you have some sort of improvement project going on in an area, it draws your eyes to that area. You have the operator symbol. That's pretty standard. A lot of times too though you'll just see the circle without the line. 
Either way, it's a pretty universal symbol for an operator. And on the far right for general symbols, you have a timeline. Now sometimes certain items raised up can be value added and the items below can be non-value added, but not always. When it comes to value stream maps, I will say a timeline is one of the most valuable things you can have on the map because timing is very important both internally and to the customer. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you now understand the broad value and applications of value stream maps and some basics about how to make them. In reality, they are a pretty easy tool, and even if you don't use them perfectly, they can still have a great effect. Have a great day.